The wedding was super fun. Radioactive substances. It's Friday today. I'm currently on my nuclear medicine rotation and today's also Friday and after work today I'll be flying to Tampa for a wedding so super stoked for that and I thought I'd bring you guys along the way. Now if you're wondering what nuclear medicine is exactly then don't worry because so did I when I was a medical student I didn't really know anything about it. Basically it's the field that uses radioactive substances in order to diagnose and treat disease and most physicians specialize in nuke med after doing a radiology residency but you can also specialize in nuke med after doing an internal medicine residency. Residency. So in Nuke Med, we administer radio tracers and then use very specialized cameras in order to look at the physiology of a certain organ. And if you think about it, it's actually radiology done inside out because the radiation is emitted from within the body outwards rather than the opposite, meaning the radiation coming from an x-ray source or a CT scanner and coming inwards towards the body. So the images that we get in Nuke Med are emission images rather than transmission images. In this rotation, we read a lot of DEXAs which are used to evaluate bone mineral density or screen for osteoporosis. We also read bone scans, which are used primarily to look for metastatic disease, but can also be used to evaluate things like infection, like osteomyelitis, or prosthetic loosening, or fractures. We also read renograms, which look at the kidneys, thyroid studies, HIDA scans, which look at the gallbladder, VQ scans to look for pulmonary embolism in the lungs, as well as gastric emptying studies, which essentially evaluate a patient for gastroparesis or delayed gastric emptying. On this rotation, there's also a cardiology fellow who reads all the cesta mibi scans, which essentially look for myocardial perfusion defects or blood flow to the heart, or I suppose the lack of blood flow to the heart. So it's really nice to be exposed to those nukes cardiac cases and to learn from our cardiology colleagues. Now, I do have to say that nukes is very different from other fields of radiology because the image resolution is not as good as something as a CT scan, an MRI, or even an X-ray. So because a lot of the nuclear medicine images are very fuzzy, sometimes nukes gets the nickname of unclear medicine instead of nuclear medicine. And the second way that nukes is very different is that you primarily spend time thinking about physiology and its relation to pathology as opposed to other fields of radiology where you're spending a lot of time thinking about anatomic pathology. So there's a bigger focus on anatomy in other fields of medicine, I would say. But it's super nice to go back and get a refresher on some basic physiology as well as some basic molecular and cell biology. And for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Nick. I'm a PGY2 or R1 radiology resident and the rotation that I've done so far are breast, musculoskeletal, IR, CT slash body, and then I'm currently on nukes. And after this rotation, I have ultrasound, fluoroscopy, GI, pediatrics, chest, and I finished my R1 year with two months of neuroradiology. So definitely subscribe to the channel if you enjoy watching these types of videos. Anyways, now you know a little bit or a lot about nuclear medicine. It's Friday today. I just finished work, so I will see you in Florida.
All right, so the wedding was super fun. It was so nice to see my family and friends from California, as well as visit my old stomping grounds in Bradenton, which is where I did my first and second year of med school. So, you know, it's always nice to go down memory lane. Anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. If you liked it, I would love to hear from you in the comments below. As every YouTuber says, don't forget to smash like and subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Peace.